Good, good afternoon. I'll speak. Uh, I will not scare you during the lunch. Um, so my name is Rodrigo Barbosa. I am president and CEO of, of Aura since early 2017. I believe that uh, some of you might have never heard about us, or if you have, probably linked to the story of Aura in the early 2010. What I'm going to present to you today is a company that is number one performance in TSX 2021, number one performance in TSX 2022, the highest dividend yield in the world in the sector. Last year, we paid $85 million at 13.5% as a dividend yield to the sector. So I'll go through the story because although we had this significant appreciation during the last uh, three years, we are still not half away what we are building in the company. We're still uh, discounted compared to our peers, and uh, we, are, we will be able to grow, and I'll show you here, uh, more than 67% in three years through development of three projects coming from three operations. So I uh, will be making a uh, forward, please, forward statement, so please take, make sure you read our cautionary statements. I have my, my auditors here is making sure that I say the right thing. So, um, as I was mentioning, Aura, we have uh, three operations and uh, three greenfield projects being developed during the next uh, three years. With all the changes we made during the last five years, and I'm going through a little bit of the changes we made here, uh, we already hang, ranking number one performance in the entire TSX, although still discounted compared to our peers. And as I'm going to show to you, we are aiming to change the peers, moving to a different level as we will be able uh, to grow. And we will be able to grow through projects that with a very high returns and that we will also be able to lower our cash costs. All the, all the changes, Aura was not performing well by 13, 14, 15. And then a new shareholder jumped in. He was a minority shareholder by time and he bought over 50% of the company back in the 15, 16. And the name of this gentleman is Paulo Brito. Some of you might have heard about him. He's the founder of Yamana. Uh, Brazilian well-known entrepreneur in mining that saw in order a very interesting opportunity to generate value through optimizing the strategy and the, the efficiency gains in the company. And uh, with that, he decided to bring someone outside of the industry. My background, I'm not, uh, I don't come from the mining industry, I'm mechanical engineering uh, with investment banking, um, early stage in my career. And then I worked in very different industries in Brazil, specializing in turnaround. I, we are, last job I was running a turnaround of textile company. We won the turnaround of the year by Pricewaterhouse. And that got attention from Mr. Brito to bring me to turn around the company, make the change, and put the company back on the growth uh, mode. So we based our strategy, very simple. Let's fix the asset. Any company to grow needs to have a good assets and good projects to develop, a strong balance sheet and a strong team. And I will not go into details, but all the track record, and when you look what we've done, we sold one asset, we merged, we restarted, we acquired another one. Now, all of that is exactly working diligently in each of these pillars, preparing a good portfolio, preparing uh, the balance sheet, and also uh, preparing the team. So today we have presence in operations in Mexico, Honduras, and Brazil, the three operations that are running, plus Greenfield projects to develop, three of them in Brazil, and also one in much earlier stage in Colombia. The, the, the operating assets that we have, it's, um, the first one is a copper mine, copper gold mine, underground uh, SCAR uh, in Aranza Azul, in, in Zacatecas, Mexico. That mine we restarted early in 18. Uh, there was an carry maintenance when we joined Aura. And uh, we are now running Aranza Azul with the half of the cash cost that they were uh, running in the past because we implemented efficiency gains as a new management and a much better plan. And we did that all through improving performance, recoveries, reducing costs, and new, new management team plays, and so on. Um, that mine, we sta restarted, sorry, go back. With five years life of mine, we increased capacity in 18. We already operated four years. We increased capacity by 30%, and we now have seven years. So still building up resources and reserves in that mine as we are uh, on production. Other mine we have, it's in Honduras. It's a uh, heap leach, low-grade disseminated. 
uh, we operate that close to 0 0.5 grams per ton. In the other hand, uh, very low strip ratio, 0, 0 0.5, sometimes 0 0.7 times. And finally, uh, we have an operation in Brazil called EPP. Uh, this mine, uh, we ramped up, we bought from Yamana in the 16. It came with only three years life of mine. Uh, we ramped up uh, the production in the 16. We already operated six years. Increased production from 25, 30,000 ounces to 7, 70, 75. And we still have remaining three years of life of mine. Although, and I'm going to show to you, only now we're starting to drill. Uh, Aura has a significant land capacity, uh, land package to increase resources and reserves as we are generating cash. So some of the results, I look a little bit the past, and I will talk, uh, we'll uh, see more of the future in the next slide, is, uh, as I mentioned, we made significant improvements in the operation since we started the turnaround. Production came from 136,000 ounces to, wow, I think uh, we all want to see the future. Huh? <laughs> so, um, so uh, we come from 120,000 ounces of production last year, 269,000 ounces, and as I'm going to show to you, we will be at over 450,000 ounces by 25. Uh, we had more favorable uh, metal prices, either copper and gold has appreciated since 2017, so that led us to increase revenues by 181%, coming from $158 million to $445 million last year. And uh, when you add better production, better price, plus cost reductions, and efficiency gains, then we could increase EBITDA from $20 million to $185 million last year, and we continue to generate cash, and we will be able to grow a significant more. So that's a little bit about the past. When we look to the future, then yeah, you can see that we are still halfway, or not even halfway, going. Uh, we came from 126,000 ounces last year, 269. This year should be even growth. Uh, we, we sold one small operation in the US last year. We don't have that uh, ounces. And the different metal prices for copper converting to gold equivalent is also uh, uh, pushing our production a little bit lower than last year, although the new projects that we are developing come online, one in 23, another one in 24, and another one in 25. So when you see Almas uh, that we are building right now, uh, Alma is already 80% complete. And Matupa and Borborema, one project that we recently acquired, will be in construction next year. What I will highlight, and I will talk more uh, in the few slides, is that we build the strategy based on simple assets, easy to build, easy to operate. We prefer smaller assets. Uh, we are not aiming to have 150,000 ounces project, 200,000 200, ounces. The market is overcrowded in that in, the, in that area. We prefer to focus mines that produce 67, and then you can wrap to 80, 90, 90,000 uh, ounces. And the market, those projects are under radar. Almas, we are 80% complete, and we will be at 100% uh, internal rate of return at 50% leverage. And that's other projects that I'm going to uh, share with you that is giving us a significant high returns and lower cash core compared with a project that's more complex and bigger. Still going to the future and looking, we have a very clear, let me see the time here, because we have a very clear understanding how we will generate value to our shareholders. So number one is growing, executing, delivering the projects on time, on budget, and we know the responsibility. We could prove to the market that we can run efficiently uh, the mines, we could prove that we can ramp up efficiently. Aranz Azul, we ramped up, we run with the half of the cash cost, but yet we have not done a greenfield project. Almas is the first one that we are building. We are already 80% complete, different from many other projects. We are on time, on budget. We will be building, and the way we, we put our portfolio to be simple, we are building Almas, which is a 1.3 million tons plant, for, one, for $74 million in 15 months. And that will provide all in sustaining cash costs at the 700 levels and pay back two years, pay back on equity one year. So that's some examples of the projects that we are uh, delivering to the market. So number one, clear view, we will deliver uh, value by 
execution and growing the size through those projects. Number two, this is a company that underperformed, underinvested in the past. And so could not reinvest cash in your operations, could not understand the exploration potential. Aura has 650,000 hectares in mining rights, either around the mines that we operate or the mines that we will be developing. And Aura was investing four, five million dollars, six million dollars only in exploration. Only now we are ramping up to 25 million dollars and starting to understand the potential. So we will grow uh, production and uh, we will grow resources and reserves. And number three, and as important as the, the other two, and that will come as a combination of the first two, is re-rating. Companies in our size, you, you are investors all know that companies that produce 200, 300, 400,000 ounces trades at a discount compared to the big guys, right? The, the multiple of our sector in our size is 0 0.4 times NAV. The multiples of the guys that produce 600, 700,000 ounces are 0 0.7 or 0 0.8 times NAV. This is 100% appreciation if we can push our growth more than the 450,000 ounces. So I mentioned already uh, a, a little bit about the projects that we are developing. Almas is the first one coming online in April next year. Uh, this project has one thing that we also look very much is the size of the CapEx compared to the NPV. And uh, we, that's what is gonna drive internal rate of return and the risk involved in the capital that you allocate in that project. For example, Almas we invested $74 million with NPV of $260 million. Even if the budget goes and it will not go, 10% higher is not going to hurt the NPV for the, for the uh, investment. And this mine already has 16 years uh, life of mine. And still full of potential to increase resource and reserve. This is a new greenstone belt that we are the first company starting to drill and invest in the state of token chains. Uh, we invested only 90,000 meters and we already have 900,000 ounces. Some similar areas has invested 3 million meters and has discovered 10 million ounces, such as the uh, Minas Gerais, where Equinox, Yamana, and a few other big uh, uh, players has. So this is a new frontier of our greenstone belt uh, in Brazil. Second project is Matupá. They are very interesting project, full of potential to significant trees, resource and reserves. This project we acquired came with uh, only uh, 340,000 ounces is because back in the 15, 16, there was scarcity of capital. They could not move forward with the geology. Uh, so they stopped at 340,000 ounces. As the payback of those projects so short, we decided to go as fast as we can to construction. And then while we start a new drill campaign to understand and increase resource and reserve. But only with the 300,000 ounces that we recently converted through a feasibility study published last month, we are having a 50% internal rate of return leveraged with six years life of mine. While we started drilling to understand the potential to expand and some results that we had as an open pit around the mine, it's a uh, interception of over 80 meters at 3.89 grams per ton. I'm not touching anything here. And uh, uh, over 50 meters at 3.14 grams per ton. So that shows the potential that we will not only be linked to the 50% internal rate of return. As we move and prove resource and reserves, we will significantly increase the life of mine in that project and then create more value. And that mine has a low strip ratio and cash, all in sustaining cash cost below $700 per ounce in the first four years. So this is just an example. Uh, if you see our and, and compare to our peers, you will see that we have a lower life of mine compared to uh, our, our, our players. But that's the picture of our. If you see the movie, then you can see that we are building up life of mine or why we produce, why some other, other companies are reducing the life of mine. We come from uh, this 650,000 ounces, 650,000 hectares as a mining right and investing seven, eight, 10 million, only now starting to increase investments in, in geology. So running out of time here, um, we have a full potential in each of the assets that we operate in terms of increased resource and reserves. And finally, as you can see, this is the, the re-rating that we're aiming to. We know very much how to get to 450,000 ounces of production. And we know very much that if we go above 500, 600, 
we will be able to, to, to provide our shareholders uh, this significant appreciation by tangible multiple. That's why we continue to pursue M&A transactions. Uh, we have, uh, uh, before we recently acquired one mine for, 40, for $54 million. Uh, our cash position last quarter was $220 million. Last year we paid $85 million as a dividend. Uh, after this acquisition, we are now at $130, $140 million with a 0 0.5 times net debt to EBITDA with projects coming online on time on budget next year. So we continue to generate cash, maintain strong uh, balance sheet, develop our project, be able to pay dividends, and why not to pursue a new acquisition and M&A, which we continue to look actively in the market. I'm from Brazil. We have a significant shareholders from Brazil. Brazil is booming in terms of mining jurisdiction. Uh, Brazil can offer significant opportunity in mines that's under the radar here in Toronto. Uh, Borborema, one, one mine that we recently acquired, nobody was talking about that mine. Now it's a project that has 1.9 million ounces ready to be built uh, next year.